Hello, this is the video for the 12 objectives, which is uh, quartiles. First thing we need to know about quartiles is uh, the use of them. They are used to create a box whisker, which is basically like this. Like this. Uh, it can have many different shapes, like the box could be on the left or to the right. This can indicate that it's skewed to the right or left or it could be in the middle which can say it's symmetric and then we have the the components that makes uh, a box whisker or makes the quartiles quartiles uh, they are five things and they are called the five number summaries and they are ordered in this uh, way the first thing we have is the minimum second thing we have is Q1 or quartile 1 second thing is Q2 uh, Q2 is also the median, so yes, and uh, then we have Q3, uh, and then the maximum. In this, uh, in this box whisker, these uh, five things are present. As you can see, the minimum is always here. Okay, this is Q1, this is Q2 in the middle, the median, Q3, and maximum. This... Uh, this uh, box whisker and uh, the quartiles are used to find out layers. If, uh, if the values uh, in a table, in a g uh, frequency given table or uh, any numbers given to you, a set of numbers, uh, if, you, if, you, if they are out layers, they must be below the minimum or above the maximum. How do we know they are uh, below or above? Uh, it's easy. First thing we need to find is IQR, interquartile range. The interquartile range equals Q3, which is this one, minus Q1, which is that one. The result we get from this, uh, from this, this equation basically, if we're subtracting Q3 Q1, the result. We will use this one to find the outliers, the lower outliers from before the minimum and the uh, maximum. So uh, we can say that if we need to like say Q1 minus 1.5, this is the rule, times IQR. The, the number we get here, anything below that number, we will consider, consider it uh, be, uh, we can we will consider it out layer. Also here Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR. Anything above this number we get here will be uh, will be uh, an out layer. Also it doesn't have to be before or after. It doesn't mean uh, it can't be uh, before. Or, it can it doesn't have to be. Uh, it can be also the maximum, the maximum can be the outlier or the minimum or any number. It doesn't have to be, it can't be the number before the minimum. So we have this question that came in this to my quiz. It says uh, National Football League uh, teams play 16 games during the regular season. In 2012 to 2013, the Broncos and Falcons led the league with 13 wins each. The frequency table below summarizes the number of games won by all 32 teams. Here we have the frequency. They gave us the frequency table. So for this question, we need to find the five number summaries, which are the minimum, Q1, Q2, Q3, maximum. So first thing we need to do is write the numbers and order them. So we have them here ordered, so we need to write them. We have two ones, so we write two and two here. This is the first one. We have uh, four, here we have four, right? And we have frequency of three, so we write it four times. Four, 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 and like this we get five, five, six, 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 seven, 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 eight, eight, nine. Have five ten one two three four five have four eleven so one two two we have two twelves two 
16 and 13 so first thing we need to do is like this second thing we need to find what q2 so we can separate both of them so the most easiest way is, uh, is to find the middle numbers like this cross here one one two two three three four four five five six six seven seven eight eight nine nine ten ten eleven eleven twelve twelve thirteen fourteen fourteen fifteen fifteen so we'll be left with this two numbers if we get the two numbers we must add them so we write q2 q2 is uh, equals seven plus eight over two which will get us seven plus eight over two over two is 7.5 so q2 is 7.5 then from here we divide them if we have uh, if we had one number we divide before it and after it if we have two numbers we get the middle uh, we put like a line from the middle until here we divide it like this and then for the second one again like this we divide it so and then uh, so the same process as finding q2 We'll find Q1 and Q3 the same way. For, so we have 7, 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7. So we'll be left with these two again. 6 plus 6. So we'll do again. 6 plus 6 over 2. 12 over 2 is 6. This is Q1. Now Q3 is from here to here. So you do 1, 1, 2, 2, 3, 3, 4, 4, 5, 5, 6, 6, 7, 7. We'll be left here with 10 here and 11 here. So we'll do 10 plus 11 over 2. We will get... We we'll get 10.5. Oh, 10.5 is 7.5. Then, this is the Q1, Q2, Q3. And we'll be left with the, two now, the last two, which is minimum and maximum. The minimum is 2, as we can see here. 2. The maximum is 13. So we'll write 13. We finish the first part. Second part is the finding the outliers. So to find the outliers, we need for first thing we need is IQR. So IQR equals Q3 minus Q1 equals Q3 is 10.5 minus 6 equals 4.5. So we need to write Q1 minus 1.5 times IQR. Equals one uh, Q1 is 6 minus 1.5 times 4.5 equals C here. 6 minus 1.5 times 4.5 equals minus 0 0.75. So we don't have uh, any lower outlay outliers. So then Q3 plus 1.5 times IQR equals 10.5. Plus 1.5 times 4.5. 10.5 plus 1.5 times 4.5. Equals 17.25. We don't have any number uh, bigger than this. Than this number. So there are no outliers. Uh, there are no uh, bigger outliers or small outliers. Or upper outliers or lower outliers. So... We don't have any outliers, so we'll write no outliers. And this finish our uh, video for quartiles.